she really was the perfect child, you know, all the way through up until she started using drugs. I would have never imagined something like that. She uh, girl stronger than a semi truck. It's one of those things that you never could imagine going through and never would think you would go through. And when we were in the middle of all of the turmoil, it was like, what did we do wrong? I mean, where did we go wrong? She was always a good kid. She did well in school. Um, you know, through high school, she was a cheerleader. And I was getting ready to go to a cheerleading uh, game, like a football game or, or a basketball game or something to go cheer at. You know, life was good here. Um, was before any kind of drugs came into the picture and you know high schools were some of the best times of my life. A guy that I my first love he started doing drugs and that's where I was kind of introduced to it and it was like recreational just everyone else was kind of doing it and um, and I just was joining along. This is my old um, using house this was the room where it all went down, people in and out of the house all day long. We used to have a little table right here with a bunch of needles and foil and drugs, paraphernalia, all, all the stuff. I mean, this house is what I associate with my drug use. Oh my God, she tried to kill herself. I thought life would be easier without me in it. She was in a deep depression at the time. I see this girl walking toward my car right on the line. I purposely wanted to get hit by a semi. When it hit her, it just did one of these things. She just went up in the air and ba boom, ba boom, splat on the ground. A really, really scary image that I'll never get out of my head. You know, I just kind of told him, hey, your daughter is just involved in, a, in an accident. She jumped in front of a semi and attempt to, you know, take her own life. So her face is completely gauzed. So she had extensive injuries primarily uh, and most um, uh, noticeably to the face and, and mid-face. If you think something's going on, it's going on. And you can hope it's not, you don't <laughs> want it to be, so you might push it aside, which is what I did. But don't do that, act on it and believe it's happening because it's probably happening. The number one rule is to obey your instincts, you know, listen to your instincts. If something says, if something's telling you something is not right, um, it's, it's really important that you listen to those instincts and you act upon those instincts. Substance use disorder is, you know, is a chronic disease that touches er every area of individual, family, and community life. And so we believe that we need to have interventions and supports. From a medical perspective, when patients are admitted to Grand Wellness, they have a comprehensive approach. You know, Medication-assisted treatment is one of the modalities we use. But physicians and nurse practitioners and physicians assistants are all part of our medical staff. They evaluate the patient and are they co-occurring disorders that will prevent uh, a path to recovery and take people from a place of misery into joy. And it is possible. I see it done every day. Life was not good before I came here. She had been to rehab a few times and she had been in and out of hospitals and um, she finally realized she didn't want to do this anymore. When she got to CORE, that was where the light bulb went on. I was afraid of failing again. Meeting her and then hearing her story of the whole truck incident and everything just broke my heart. And I just wanted, I was so grateful to be able to be with this girl and, and to hopefully help her to get on the right path. I mean, everyone here was great. Everyone was really welcoming, supportive. It's hard to, to tell somebody when they've never actually experienced it. I never could see myself doing something like that today. Like I, I have such a desire to live now. Like I want to live such a long life. Like I, whereas before, I was 
totally content with dying that day. You know, like I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to, I wish I went to sleep and never woke up. Like that's how I lived my life for months. And it was horrible. Um, and I'm so grateful I made it and survived because I have such a love for life. Like I just want to live.